The first step to centering a drawing is your overall dimensions. You first want to determine the maximum overall size of the object being drawn. You must know the maximum overall width, height, and depth of the object. So let's take a look at this object. Our overall width is five inches. The overall height from bottom to top is two and a half. And the overall depth from front to back is 1.5. You also want to determine the orientation in which the object will be drawn. Next, if you're just working on regular drafting paper, you would put your border lines in, as I've already done here. For this class, you'll be provided with mostly worksheets that already have this on your paper. Third, locate the page center. So we are going to draw construction lines from corner to corner across the drawing. These are extremely light lines. So if your triangle is not long enough, I'm gonna use the other side of my T-square because I'm just connecting points. Typically, this is not how you use a T-square. Very, very light lines right across my page. Really, all I need is the center point. These lines get erased. So again, extremely light. I'm just going to draw right there. So this is the center point of my drawing space. Next, number four, lay out two construction lines, one horizontal and one vertical intersecting the center point of your drawing area. So I have my T-square lined up right with that center point and I'm gonna draw a construction line. Again, very, very light horizontally and a vertical line. So use a triangle on your T-square to draw the vertical. They're very light. The fifth step, we're gonna calculate the space for our different views. So we add the width of the object to the depth, and we're gonna also consider the space that's going, to be between, that's going to be between the two views. So I have my front, right, and top view. So the front is going to be five, plus the depth, which is 1.5, plus one inch for the space. This is the horizontal. So we have width, we have depth, and we have the space. This is going to be that center rectangle. All right, we're going to do a very similar process for the vertical spacing. Except this time, we're gonna take the height, which is 2.5, this is height. I'm going to add the dimension here, which would be depth. And add that one inch for the space again. So let's add this up, 7.5. This is three, four, five. All right. To draw the centering rectangle, divide the width, seven and a half by two. So seven and a half divided by two is 3.75. I'm going to actually take my 3.75 and place it right on my center point. Now I can mark out 7.5 and zero. Now draw two vertical construction lines through the two measurement points to create the sides of the centering rectangle. So now I draw two vertical construction lines. And draw it again. Now I'm going to do the same to get my vertical spacing. I'm gonna take five divided by two, which is two and a half. Place it right on my center construction line. And I'm gonna mark out zero and five. Now I'm gonna create the horizontal construction lines for my centering rectangle. Let me just 
darken this line so you can see it. All right, step eight, we're going to erase some of these construction lines. So I no longer need this X and I no longer need my center, horizontal and vertical lines. All I need is that centering rectangle. It's a good idea to erase this so you don't get confused when drawing your other lines. Step nine, horizontal measurements. So to complete the drawing, measure horizontally from the lower left corner of the centering rectangle. And we're gonna lay out the overall width, the one inch space between views and the depth of the object. So starting at the bottom left, in front view we have our width. So the width is five. We have the one inch space and we should be left with our 1.5 for the depth. I'm now going to create vertical construction lines. And now I'm going to do the vertical measurements. So in front view, the first measurement I'm dealing with is height. Our height is 2.5. We have a one inch space and we should be left with one and a half. Now I can finish blocking in my views with my horizontal construction lines. At this point, you'll see I've entirely blocked in my drawing. I have my front view, my top view, and my right side view. So of course my drawing will look a little bit more detailed than this, but they will exist inside these blocks. You'll also notice a square at the top right. This is where I'll draw my miter line. You can connect the two corners of your square, or you can grab your 45 degree triangle and ensure that it is exactly 45 degrees from corner to corner. This is where I can project my depth dimensions over and down or up and over from my top view and side view. So I know my object in front view comes over five. I also know it goes up two and a half and the top surface is one inch. So measure out one inch. From the bottom right, the measurement is 0.5. Now it doesn't tell me an angle, but what I do know is that across the top, it will meet that 0.5 measurement. So you can just connect the two points with the diagonal line. Now I'm not gonna remeasure these things in the other views. I'm gonna project all of that information. Remember what dimensions are shared between views. With front and right side view, they share height. From front to top view, they share width. So I can project my width dimensions up, my height dimensions over. The last step is to erase all construction lines and to finalize your line conventions by darkening object lines, making hidden lines, adding center lines, etc.